There's all kinds of budget knives out there, especially on Amazon, but I am genuinely perplexed at the price of this fixed blade knife from Granway that I'm going to be reviewing today. I simply can't believe how much knife you get for so little money. Let's take a look at it. reasons why I love doing reviews on budget blades is because so many people are on a budget. I'm on a budget and they want to know how good this stuff is. I mean, even though the knife doesn't cost much money, people want to know what they're getting. What do other people think about this knife? And that's why I enjoy doing these videos so much. Over time, I've purchased a lot of budget blades, reviewed them and sent them back just because I did not like them and I did not really connect with them. But I've been looking at this one for a while and I really connect with it. This one's gonna stay in my collection. In fact, I bought two of these knives because of the price. Let's take a look at it and then we'll get into some specs. This is the fixed blade knife from Granway. Now they have uh, several fixed blade knives out there. The one thing I can say about these fixed blade knives from Granway is that you never know when they're going to discontinue them. There are several blades from them I have wanted to buy, but when you go out to get them, you find out that they are disconnected. So who knows how long this one's gonna be out on the market. I know it's been out there for a few years and I'm just super impressed. This knife is $13, $13 on Amazon. And I think you'll be shocked after we go through it. Let's look at the nylon sheath as well. This is the nylon sheath that comes with it. And I like it. I really do. I've been walking around with this for the last couple of days. I, I really, really, really dig this kind of sheath. I like that. I like the way it hangs off my belt. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I mean, you can throw your t-shirt over top of it, um, or you can just wear it out in the open. But I just think this looks phenomenal. This also, this knife also comes with a survival ebook. There are very even dimensions for this knife. This is an 8.8 .8 inch knife altogether, and the handle and the blade are equal in length, both being 4.4. The weight of this blade is six ounces, which it feels like it's got a really good weight to it. And it's got a three millimeter thick blade on it. And the tang does continue all the way through this knife. And this comes with 440C stainless steel. And if you look up that steel, you will discover that it's not bad at all. Let's do an out of the box sharpness test here. I'll try to shave with it. Yeah, hair shaving sharp, so there's no need in really going to get a sheet of paper. <laughs> Another benefit, I love a rubber ergonomic handle. I think that's one of the things that makes, again, the strong arm so popular is the ergonomics of that knife. This kind of reminds me of that. This rubber handle feels really solid, just an anti-slip material. I really dig it. Let's talk a little bit about knife torture testing. I do a lot of knife reviews and I watch a lot of knife reviews. And in a lot of knife reviews, there's typically some batoning, feather sticking and things like that. Sometimes I will do that in my knife review and sometimes I just don't consider it necessary. The other day I reviewed a budget blade that is made from a lot cheaper material than this. and. I was able to baton and feather stick, you know, because it was able to take a beating and it came razor sharp out of the box. But if you ask my honest opinion, a lot of the testing that gets done on knives and a lot of the tasks that those knives get put through are better suited for a tomahawk. Again, in my opinion, a knife to me is a slicing and a piercing object. And if you have a good sharp knife with good ergonomics. You shouldn't have any trouble doing those things and you don't have to pay a lot of money to get a knife that can do them. Nevertheless, I'll let you see some of these tasks being done with this blade. Cut through this with no problem. This is a very sharp edge on this, sliced right through this, no problem. Let's do a little split in here. Did you see this? That is so sharp, very, very sharp. Just taking the curls right off. 
very sharp. And you know, from what I gather, this steel is easy to resharpen as well. Hardly no dings on the back. Sometimes you get the batoning. You can ding up the back of these blades. Hardly no dings from that round. I'm sure, you know, over time you might see some. I just want to see what the edge of this is still like after doing that. Still shaving. <laughs> Pretty impressive. And the reason why I say that is, is the splitting and the feather sticking is not gonna test your edge as much as the chopping part of this. I've got a small little fairing rod here, but let's see what kind of strikes we can get from this thing. I like it. And six ounces is most definitely heavy enough to throw. I had to edit out a couple of misses from where I was getting used to this blade, and even when I get used to blades, I still miss, just like everybody else. Nevertheless, sometimes with certain knives like this, after two or three misses, you can already feel looseness beginning to happen. No looseness here, so I definitely think this is something that can be thrown around the camp for fun. Intact. Let's do a little combat stabbing and slicing. That was nice and fun and just the cleanup that she needed from all that hard work. I just don't know how much more knife you're gonna be able to get for $13 than this one right here. I love everything about this knife and I feel like that they practically gave it to me. 13 bucks is an absolute steal for what you get. If you like this, I would go ahead and get it because from looking at their product catalog, they have done a lot of discontinuing. Why, I don't know. This one's been around for a while. But man, 13 bucks. I just cannot keep stressing that. I don't get any commission on this. I'm genuinely interested in this blade and can't believe I got it for this price point and I wanted to share it with you. Have a great day. Take care.